This video is all about a core challenge that arises when assisted living becomes part of your life. How do you deal with that, particularly with the technology of digital mailbox? Very lovely to speak to you. Good to see you, Tim. So at some point or another, uh, we all know someone, it seems, who moves into an assisted living situation. And if I'm trying to deal, let's say my parents go to the situation, I'm trying to deal with, uh, I want to say, paying the bills, this offers a challenge because I don't live there. I know digital mailbox is an interesting answer here. Can you explore right, sure. how that works? Sure. So whether uh, a parent or a loved one is going to uh, a facility mm -hmm. or where they're getting support, or whether they're still at home, perhaps, mm -hmm. But you know that they're not up to par to manage their mail, right. especially the important bills or legal documents and that sort of thing. Mm. So if you're responsible as the caretaker, uh, what do you do? Uh, and the idea is that you can now have access uh, remotely to your parents' mail or your loved one's mail, mm. and then you can decide how that piece of mail should be handled, whether certain pieces of mail or articles should go onto the address where they're located, mm -hmm. or there are certain things that you want to receive on their behalf because you're managing them for them. This makes sense. So uh, my understanding here, and this is a little bit high tech, so forgive me if I haven't got this quite right. Uh, let's say uh, my folks or someone I, I'm caring for is at uh, a location that the mail doesn't go straight to that location. We send it to an intermediate address that I think I get to choose. That's right. And then it shows up on an app. Can you just explain the Yeah, mechanism? well, there, we, there are over 350 addresses uh, right now in the iPostal1.com network mm -hmm. uh, throughout the United States. So you can pick an address, an address that's local to you or convenient to uh, your loved one. And that's where your mail will be received, whatever mail you want to direct there. And then uh, you see an image, this is what the technology provides, an so image shows of right the down, outside yeah. of the envelope or the package or the magazine, whatever it is, mm -hmm. so you know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. And once you know that, you can decide what you want to do with it, whether it's something appropriate to be forwarded on mm -hmm. to, to your loved one or whether it's something that you should take control of, whether you want to forward it onto a, a, a different address or forward it to yourself, or if it's something important, you'd actually request that they uh, open that envelope scan the content, you'll see a PDF of it right away if it's important and you want to deal with it in a matter of hours instead of days. This makes a lot of sense. So this is a tool to assist people who are taking care of other people in assisted living. That's right. Uh, a great answer, and I'm presuming because it's on an app, you can get to this pretty much anywhere you happen to be right, at the no time. Right, no matter where you are. So you are on vacation, you're, you're out of the country, it doesn't matter. You're able to support uh, your loved one uh, in terms of managing your mail the same way as if you were around the corner. All right, well, I'm going to share this with my parents immediately. I'm sure they are looking forward to the good news that I'm looking at shipping them off to a retirement <laughs> home immediately now that I've fixed this particular problem. Okay, they might not be into that. Thank you so much. I really okay, appreciate your welcome. time. Good For those of you who are interested in using digital mail in the context of assisted living, please find your way to ipostal1.com. It's a quick and easy sign-up, minutes, and it happens to be a great deal too.